Hello and welcome to the November E-Blast. I'm Julia. And I'm Kent. With winter weather already on the ground, please make sure you're receiving parent broadcast messages. If school is delayed or closed, the information will be added to the school closings and delays on WKBN, WFMJ, and YTV. A special thank you to all the veterans who came to the middle school, high school, Veterans Day program. Colonel Sharon M. Johnson, the commander of the 910th Maintenance Group, Youngstown Air Reserve Station, was the guest speaker. After the program at the middle and high school, veterans had a special luncheon. I'm Merle McLaughlin. I started this program eight or nine years ago, I forget which, and I think it's a great thing. We enjoy it every year. And we go to the one that's a high school, and then we come over here. So I, I'd like you to know that I, I used to work here, so I'm pretty familiar with this building. Murrow was in the United States Navy. He served at Iwo Jima and Okinawa. He's the founding father of our American Legion. Elementary students also honored veterans in a special program. JM students also thanked veterans for their service and sacrifices in a special video. You can watch the videos on our Facebook page. Renewal Levy, on behalf of everyone in Blue Jay land, thank you for supporting the recent Renewal Levy. Parent-teacher conferences, what a great way to meet your child's teacher and discuss how he or she is doing in class. Conference night is on Tuesday, November 26th. Please contact your child's school to schedule an appointment. Thanksgiving break, just a reminder, there is no school November 27th through the 29th. Happy Thanksgiving from everyone here at Jackson Milton. Second and third grade students at Jackson Mil Milton Elementary School learned about anti-bullying and went home with their own copy of a book called Listen to Leslie. Diane Demetrios of Boardman wrote the book in memory of her daughter who passed away. The book is Diane's way of getting an anti-bullying message out to the elementary children and honor her daughter. The main take home message stresses the importance of being kind to everyone. The book is part of Let's Make a Difference, a nonprofit in Northeast Ohio. Students took part in Red Ribbon Week, a week dedicated to drug prevention and education. Some high school students in SAD made a chain with students at the elementary school for Red Ribbon Week. The chain symbolizes taking a stand against drugs. Kozai on Wheels returned to the elementary school and didn't disappoint. Students explored nine stations about space, thanks to PTA for making the event possible. Middle and high school students are helping to spread the word about the importance of respecting others. Students signed a pledge to accept, include, and respect people of all abilities. The campaign is through the Down Syndrome Association of the Valley. Finally, the PTA Father-Daughter Dance is this Saturday night from 6.30 to 9 for elementary girls and their father or father-like figure such as their grandpa, uncle, brother, or etc. Thanks for tuning in to the Jackson Mountain E-Blast. I'm Julia. And I'm Ken. Go, Go Jays! Jays.